Hi. Now in this question we're given that f of x equals 1 minus 3 over x plus 2 plus 3 over x plus 2 all squared where x doesn't equal minus 2 and we've got to show then that f of x equals x squared plus x plus 1 all over x plus 2 squared. Just like to point out just in case you're unsure why x doesn't equal minus 2. It's because if x were minus 2 in this fraction or for that matter in this fraction the denominators would be 0 and 3 divided by 0 or anything divided by 0 if you did it on a calculator would give you a maths error. It's basically an undefined result so that's why x doesn't equal minus 2. Now how do we turn f of x this um, part here into this part over here. Well we're going to need to simplify it. We're going to need to put it all over a common denominator and we get a clue here that it's going to be x plus 2 all squared. So we need to take this first term here 1 and in order to make this into a fraction over x plus 2 all squared we need to times it by x plus 2 all squared all over x plus 2 all squared. Timesing what we often say top and bottom by the same value. This is 1 essentially. 1 times 1 is still going to be that 1. When it comes to the second fraction we'll just write that back in again minus 3 over x plus 2. I'll put that in brackets. You'll see why in a moment but uh, you don't have to put it in brackets. I'll leave it up to you but uh, what we're going to do is to now times top and bottom of this fraction just by x plus 2. Again timesing top and bottom by the same thing is essentially like timesing this fraction by 1. So it's going to leave it unchanged. It's just going to change the appearance of it. Then we've got the last fraction which is fine at the moment. It's all over the same denominator x plus 2 all squared. So there you go. So what we've got is essentially everything over the same denominator x plus 2 all squared. x plus 2 times x plus 2 well that's x plus 2 all squared and this one's x plus 2 all squared so we can just put one big long line there and put x plus 2 all squared as that common denominator. So we've got 1 times x plus 2 all squared we'll just write it as x plus 2 times x plus 2 then on the top for this term here. And in this one we've got minus 3 times x plus 2 and for the last one we've just got simply plus 3. I'm sure with a bit of practice a lot of you would most probably go from there straight down to this line. I know I would normally do that but just put this line in just in case you're unsure. Okay, what have we got now? Well, we're going to need to expand the top, okay? So we've got, for this term here, we've got x squared, and then we've got plus 2x plus another 2x, so that's going to be a total of 4x, and then we've got 2 times 2, which is 4. And when it comes to this term, we've got minus 3x, and be careful here, minus 3 times 2 is minus 6. So we've got minus 3x, minus 6, and finally, plus 3. And again, that's all over the denominator squared. By the way, I'm often asked by people, why don't we square out or expand the denominator? Never do that when you've got one term, by the way. Okay? When you've got one term there, you never know whether the top will factorize, and then you've got the opportunity of cancelling it out with maybe a factor down here. So never expand out a single term like this. Okay, well we just move on, we just try and clean up the top here, we've got x squared, we've got 4x minus 3x, so that's going to be our plus x, and then we've got 4 minus 6, which is minus 2, add the 3, is going to be plus 1, and that's all over x plus 2, all squared, and that's what we had to prove. Just the point in passing, um, Personally, I don't really like writing equals down here because it's not an equation. This is going to be true for all values of x 
except minus 2. So really we should say that it's identical to. So I must admit I would prefer to write that symbol in. Three lines there is identical to. You're not going to be penalised I'm sure if you didn't write that in but I think it should be written in. And this is going to be true as for all x except x not equaling minus 2 for the point I mentioned earlier that if x was minus 2 the denominator here would be 0 and you'll be dividing by 0 which gives an undefined result. Okay.